Yes, Pod, you want to marry me niece, Belinda? Yes, Lord Mayor. Then prove yourself worthy. Travel around the world in 80 days. Impossible! We shall do it. And bet your 20,000 pounds you can't take to bed. Around the world in 80 days. Passepartout. So far, we marry Flynn and Ace. Passepartout. It's come down. Yes, no lies. At your service. Stop Bob from travelling around the world in 80 days. I must win that bet. Bob may fail because of fix. And then Bob mixes, his tricks, his tricks. Around the world with... Oh, Phileas, do be careful. My uncle is sending this man named Fix to stop you. Don't you worry, mademoiselle. Ah, as his companion shall watch out for Monsieur Fix. Around the world in 80 days, so fog, they marry Blinda Maze. Around the world with... Has managed to get to Baghdad. But this time I have a foolproof plan to fix him for sure. The plan uses three facts. First, Fogg is a champion polo player. Second, the Shah of Persia is desperate to win a polo game. And third, Fogg needs sleep very badly. I can hardly keep awake, Passepartout. Standing guard all during our trip across the desert left me no time even to close my eyes. But at least here in Baghdad there will be time. I'm afraid not, my boy. The game is not won yet. And as my favorite uncle used to say, to win life's game without a fall, keep your eyes open and on the ball. But even you must close your eyes sometime. Yes, I should be able to get plenty of sleep aboard the steamer. But first, there are some items we must purchase to pack in the bag. How may I serve you? We shall take this belt. And this louder bell. And this third bell, which is even larger and louder. Very well, sir. Three bells. Also, one hatchet. One hatchet. And this length of rope. Parlez-vous! All this just to get down the Tigris River on a steamboat? For the first step of my plan, Lord Mays, I had to make Foghead for Isfahan, where the Shah of Persia holds his polo game. So, I have fixed a clever accident, which will happen to the steamboat Fogg is travelling on. <laughs> Historic River, the Tigris. Some say it is the seat of civilization. Monsieur, why do you not take a nap? There is plenty of time. We will not reach our destination for many hours. Good idea, my boy. You stay on deck and wake me if anything happens. But what could happen, monsieur? We are safe here. I have checked and monsieur Fix is not aboard. He's a tricky one, Fixes. Ha! I will take care of him if he tries anything. He cannot fool me. You take a nice nap. Good. Mm. Sure. Parlez-vous! We are headed straight for sure. It has been too far, so we cannot turn. We are going to crash. So go! Fix tricks! Fix tricks! Very likely. But what shall we do? There is not another boat for a week. We cannot lose all that time. We shall go overland. Overland? To where? To the city of Isfahan, the ancient capital of Persia. I'm sure we can find some suitable transportation there. 
But, monsieur, you must get some sleep. No time now, Passepartout. Then how will you stay awake? I'll just keep trying to remember what my uncle told me. To win life's game without a fall, keep your eyes open and on the ball. Oui, monsieur. Well, Mr. Fix, here you are in this van, and Foggy's on his way. When Fog gets here and tries to play polo for the char, he'll lose the game. And the char will throw him in the dungeon and throw away the key. Why, Mr. Fix, but why should the char ask Fog to play polo for him? Because, Mr. Fix, the Swami will tell him to. All right, ladies and gentlemen, step right up. I am the great Swami Svengali. Knows all, sees all, tells all. The famous crystal ball reveals the future to any who want to know. What do you see? Ah, mm, yes, good news. The sun will rise tomorrow. Everybody knows that. Yeah, that's my prophecy. Wait, wait, I see more. Oh, yes, the crystal ball shows all. I see that the moon will rise tonight. How about that? What's so good about that? Anybody knows that. Take money. Let's go. Wait, wait. Uh, hmm. yeah, I'm afraid you'll have to do better than that, Mr. Fix. They didn't buy that part about the moon at all. No, but it gives me an idea. What sings in the moonlight, Mr. Fix? Nightingales. And there's nothing the people of this farm like better than nightingales, Mr. Fix. So? So we're going to give them nightingales, Mr. Fix. Brilliant, Mr. Fix. <laughs> All right, Hatchy Baba, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll buy all your nightingales if you do exactly as I tell you. Is it a deal? All right, all right. Get around, one and all. The great Swami Svengali is about to make an important prediction. Now, everybody here loves nightingales, right? Right. The crystal ball who knows all, sees all, and tells all, reveal that to me. But everybody knows that. All the people of Isfahan love nightingales. Theirs is the most beautiful song in the world. Right, friend. But that's not all the crystal ball reveals. Mm -hmm. I see hundreds of nightingales in your future. Yes, yes, it's clear now. Hundreds of nightingales coming this way. I said hundreds of nightingales. Nightingales! Nightingales! Look! Look, he was right. The prediction was true. It is a great cliff. This is the end of the trail. There is no path up. Then we shall just have to climb it. Climb the cliff? But, monsieur, that is very dangerous. We are not prepared. The rope passed, Patu. I shall go first. Oh, and pull you up. But what if you should fall asleep?
See that victory bell over there? That is rung when we win. And it has not rung in 50 years. We have no polo players who are a match for the blue team. Ah, Your Highness, you will have soon. I look into the ball and I see one of the world's best polo players arriving in Isfahan. Who? Who? His name is... is... Phileas Fogg. And when you put him in your team, you will win. Where is this Fogg? Right now, he should be just at the border of Isfahan. Send for him. And send a challenge to the blue team. Immediately. This is a great day for my people. Look, monsieur. Someone is coming. Phileas Fogg? I am Phileas Fogg. Greetings from the Shah of Persia. He has sent us to carry you to his Fahad. By Jove, that's dash decent of him. His Highness has heard that you are one of the world's best polo players. Oh, well, I... Uh... He is! He is! There is no one better than Monsieur Fogg. He is known all over England. Excellent. The Shah will be pleased. He has arranged a match, and you will play for the Shah's team. But we have no time for polo playing. We have to get around the world in 80 days so Fogg can marry Blinda May. He will do what the Shah says. But when Fogg wins the game, the Shah will see to it that he travels across Persia in the fastest possible way. And what if he doesn't win? Do not mention such a thing. If he loses, the Shah would be furious. And when he is furious, I, I shudder to think what he would do. Parlez-vous! What can we do, monsieur? You are in no condition to play a polo game. You can hardly keep your eyes open. No. Um, we have no choice. Oh! Tell the Shah. I will play for his team. And win. And win. You should be honored, Mr. Fogg. This is one of the great polo fields, one of the largest in the world, and one of the most historic. Over there is the royal box from which the rulers of Persia have watched polo matches for 300 years. The Shah is there right now. Let the match begin! Ready, Mr. Fogg? Mr. Fogg, he is asleep. Charlie Fogg! Monsieur Fogg, wake up! Wake up! Oh, what shall I do? <gasps> the last bell! The last bell! Sleepy, he'll never be able to win the game, and the Shah is going to be very angry. He'll throw fog in the dungeon for sure. <laughs> to win last game without a fall, keep your eyes open and on the ball. It cannot be and it cannot be of the bell. The game is lost unless unless I can find a louder bell like that one.
and show Phileas Fogg. Because of your great victory, I am giving you the fastest carriage in my kingdom and a guard of honor to see you safely to our borders. You will more than make up for any time you have lost. Thank you, Your Majesty. We are most grateful. I still think it was just a kick trick, don't you, Monsieur Fogg? Uh, Monsieur Fogg? Stop that swami! I am keeping him here as my official crystal ball gazer. Now, now, I'm not really a... To win life's game without a fall, keep your eyes open and on the ball. Good show. Fast part two. Around the world in 80 days, so Fog may marry Linda Mays. Around the world with 